that's my biggest issue with mascaras is that there's I poked myself in the eye and look what I did. <sighs> Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm very excited to try some new products. We have some new brushes, we have some uh, new lipsticks from L'Oreal. I have a new Linda Halberg uh, powder puff I want to try. Uh, this small mini highlighter rolled right from Ofra. Uh, this ultimate uh, multi finish shadow palette from um, NYX. This one is Worn Rust. Also, new L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush. This is um, number one, Peach Addict. And also, we have a new mascara I want to try out and a couple of other products. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So I didn't count all because I wanted to, to try the powder puff with the powder. So I'm going to count all with this. I do not have a new contour palette. I did uh, buy or I did purchase the Smashbox Kaylee, Kaylee palette, contour palette, I think it's called, I forgot, but it didn't arrive yet. So I'm going to try that one. I'm very excited. But I also already did my foundation and my concealer and I did set it a little bit just because I don't have a new foundation to try out or the concealer, but I am going to try to bake with the powder puff. I bought two, one for my girl. Actually, I bought two. One came with the eyeshadow brushes kit that I, I love those eyeshadow brushes. But I bought one separately. I didn't know that I will already have one in my kit. So I'm going to give that or put that in my next giveaway. So I want to use my contour and I want to bronze. And actually I want to do a little bit too much just to see if I can correct it with powder. I'm taking this peach bronze from Rebecca Stella that I love this bronzer. And it shows on my skin beautifully, especially when I'm a little bit tan like I am right now. You see how it blends beautifully, this bronzer. My baby hair gets everywhere. So I'm going to get take the puff. Now it has like a um, pocket where you can put your fingers I think I don't know but it has also this one so I don't know how you're supposed to hold it but I'm going to take Laura Mercier powder and oh oh oh, oh. this bakes <laughs> very nice it packs the powder very very nice and it feels so soft like a cloud to the skin I like it and let's Make this very sharp. Like it, so soft. Okay, so I do have also this new set for blush, uh, brushes. And I bought it because I want new brushes, but also I like the packaging. Look how beautiful this packaging. This is Shimmering Bronze 12 piece brushes set. This is the packaging. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Stunning. And you open it like this. I haven't seen the brushes. Whoop. Oh, this is cute. And I want to keep it like this on my table so I can put my new br brushes from Ofra and from uh, Linda Halberg. So. Cute. We are going to go to the eyes. So I did already prime my eyes because I do not have a new eyeshadow primer and I don't think I'm going to buy a one for a long, long time because I have plenty. I applied this one, Melania did set it. And I'm going to try to use this palette today. And actually, I already did like a peachy look with the, the other palette that I used. 
So I'm going to use these brown shades today, but all of these look beautiful. They look stunning. Ooh, this one is cute. So this is a not a new palette, but it is new for me. I wanted it for a long time, but it was hard to find here in Sweden. So I'm going to use a new brush from Beach Cosmetics. So I'm going to take number five from the uh, eye brush kit. I'm going to take this for a shade all of my eyelid. It is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I want it as a transition shade. Now this palette is a little bit powdery. I know that because I already created a makeup look with this one. This is the Sugar High. It's a beautiful palette, but it's a little bit powdery. So I'm going to apply it everywhere. Actually, it shows very soft. Okay, so then I'm going to take this brush. This is number seven. I really would prefer if the na uh, name was here on the, what sort of brush it, it is on uh, the handle, but it doesn't say, but it says on the packaging, but I'm not going to keep the package. So this is taped blending brush, number seven. So I'm going to go again in that same eyeshadow first, but I'm going to concentrate in the crease and try to build it up a little bit because it's a huge jump between uh, this shade and this shade so this is a very soft brush so then i'm going to take this brush brush the, that brown shade but i'm going to Use it with light hand. I think it's blended nice. I can't make these eyes even. I think that's enough. Then I'm going to go and put some concealer just to try another brush. So we are going to Put some concealer on the eyelid and this is number six and it says fluffy shade brush but it's like a flat brush i'm going to try to cut the crease with that one. Oh, this is nice packed brush but it didn't use a lot of concealer so i'm going to use the same brush but i'm going to clean it a little bit and go into this shade here this one all over my eyelid or everywhere where i put the concealer and i'm going to use the dry brush first oh a little bit of fallout but this looks very nice so i'm going to try this brush this is a number 10 and it says pencil brush and I'm going to use that dark brown shade that brush and blend it in the crease just to lift it up a little bit this is very it's a little bit hard this brush it's not very soft as the others so I'm going to use this brush this is number nine no this one is number six i used nine before flat shadow brush the one that i packed the eyeshadow on it was number nine i switched the side and it was flat sh uh, shadow brush number six is this one this is the tap the fluffy shadow brush that makes more sense so i'm going to without any shade i'm going to blend the crease Ooh, soft Number 10, I'm going to take more of that brown shade and build it here on the ROE. I like it. And then I'm going to clean number 9 brush. 
I'm going to clean it and this time actually I'm going to wet it and I want to use a, this shade in the center of my eyelid but I'm going to apply the shadow brush first and then wet it with some fix plus take more of shadow see how it's going to perform on the eyes Ooh, this is nice I'm going to take the first shade that we had all of the lid with this number 10 and place it I saw many youtubers do this they do they uh, they do their under eye eyeshadow before they take away the baking powder and I want to try it and take this shade this one doesn't want to show actually there you go so I'm going to take off the bake and actually I'm going to use this brush this is number two and it says it's large powder brush feels very soft I'm going to, ooh, very soft. I love BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brushes. I have a lot of them and I always keep buying a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. They are affordable, they are amazing. I love the packaging. I love how easy they are to, to clean. So this is number three, three, <laughs> three. We are going to try this, uh, let me close the palette. We're going to try this blush. And it does come with a brush here and a beautiful mirror, but I'm not going to use this brush because I don't, I don't like using these kind of brushes. But this smells much better than the palette. Oh, I put my nose in it. This smells, I've got to take off the powder. This smells peach like those dry peach candy oh i love it this smells so nice i'm going to let me swatch it first it has a nice sheen to it it's shimmery but it has a nice sheen i hope it doesn't exaggerate exaggerates any texture on my skin It's buildable. It's a, key. Oh, it's a nice. First, I want to say I don't see it on my skin, but actually, when I look at myself in the mirror, I can see it and I like it. Okay, okay, I like this so far. Ooh, uh, let's see. Now I want to try a new mascara. It's not new, but it's new for me. I actually bought it in Bosnia in Sarajevo because it wasn't. It's not available here in Sweden. It's the new, not new, <laughs> it's, uh, Essence Volume Volume Style 18 Hours Lash Extends Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. Do you know what? I think I'm going to set my face before I do everything. And I'm going to try, I don't know if, I don't remember if I tried that before. Or if I did a video about it. But I'm going to try the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray oil control i don't remember if i tried it i bought it a couple of months ago i don't, re don't remember if i did any if i tried it on my channel or not so i'm going to use it today i feel like i don't i don't it's the same thing like with the primer spray this um this one i feel like i have spray everywhere but not on my face it feels like it sprays up and down but nothing between yeah. I don't like the mist but we see feels nice and let's try the mascara oh this brush looks interesting this is one coat of this mascara
this is two coats of this mascara and I love how it looks. I hope it doesn't smudge or transforms down. That's my biggest issue with mascaras is that there's no I poke myself in the eye and look what I did. It hurts if you poke yourself in the eye. So it already transformed. <laughs> but it's my fault. I hope it's easy to remove it. I did it again! Oh. This is not easy to remove. So let me just say that I really hope this doesn't transform on, on the lower lash line because if it does, it's impossible to remove. I had to remove my makeup under my eyes and you can maybe see a um, bold patch uh, that I have right here. I had to remove the makeup over there just to be able to remove the mascara. So it's very hard. And I think I got a couple of new wrinkles trying to remove this okay so I really really hope this will stay on my eyelashes and not not transfer I like the mascara but I like how it looks on my eyes but the brush is hard so be careful uh, so far I do like it I hope more length than it really ah, it looks nice now we are going to do the lips and I want to do, do, I want to try one of the new liquid lipsticks, chocolate liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal. I have all 10 shades. I'm going to do a separate video for uh, the swatches often after this. So I am going to do that video. But uh, today I want to try one of the shades and I want to try this shade. This is... 842 Candyman, yes, and I'm going to use this my new lip liner. This is Essence Soft Contouring in shade 8. Big proposal. It's a nice shade. I don't know if you can see it. This is lip liner. And it feels like they go together nice. So I'm going to let my lip, lip my line my lips. I think this is fun. It's a nice lip pen, lip liner. I like the color, feels soft. Let's try the lipstick. Oh, this smells chocolate pudding, guys. This smells so nice. Oh, I like the shade. It goes on very nice and I didn't had and didn't have to dip in uh, again to take the product. There is more product on the applicator. Okay, my hair looks like a mess, but let's don't care about that. I want to try the highlighter. If you watch my videos, you know that I love Ofra highlighters. And I want to try this one. This is a mini highlighter, Rodeo Drive. I got it when I ordered a couple of things from my website. So I got this. And I don't... Why do they do this kind of packaging? I don't like that. This looks like a gold highlighter. I don't know if it's going to be too dark on my skin or not. But I'm going to try it. And I'm going to try this brush from this collection. Or this kit that I bought. This is number one. And it says fan brush. It says, of course, you know, this is a fan brush. So I'm going to try and take some of this. Who picks up a lot of product. Are you excited as I am? It's a little bit sticky, this lipstick right now. Oh, God. 
Oh my god. I think Ofra does best highlighters. This is bam in your face. I don't know if I like this brush or not. I kind of feel like it's easy to blend the product on. It's very soft. This highlighter is not for shy people. So guys, that was everything that I had for you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.